Good morning from Yaramoto Towers. I just want to give you a quick update and a bit of preamble before my next trip, which is happening uh, tomorrow. Unfortunately, the weather looks as though it's going to be terrible from the moment I step out of the door here in Daventry, Northamptonshire, and uh, arrive at the first night hotel in uh, Troyes, France. Um, so that's going to be the first and the last night hotel in Troyes and then the rest of the five nights we're going to spend in Annecy which is just south of uh, Lake Geneva. So catch up with us later. Cheers now. We've got Wayne here with his wife Jane as we are about to depart the Eurotunnel on our way down to Troyes, or Troyes as some of you might know it as. Right, we'll catch up with you a bit further down, but it, it was absolutely chucking it down this morning all the way down to the Eurotunnel. But it looks, it's dry at the moment, weather forecast along the route, it looks like sun and thunder, so but it looks as though it's improving slightly because the forecast I looked at yesterday was rain all day down to our first hotel. Anyway, we'll catch up with you a bit further on down the route because this is just going to be motorway for the first part and then we're going to dive off and do some wigglies uh, if it all works to plan a bit later on. Catch up with you later. Junction 11 on the A26 and we're going off here, down here to Swassons. So hopefully that's all of our motorway section done and we're going to get some wigglies now to enjoy. So let's see how this turns out. So about 100 miles out, uh, arriving about 5 o'clock hopefully, but as you can see it's still chucking it down. We seem to be going from shower to shower, but it's uh, a miserable ride this afternoon and we'll be glad of a nice warm shower I think and a cold beer. Catch up when we get there. about to go off. We're off, we're here in the at the Golden Tulip Hotel and we're now heading down to Annecy via Dijon on some cracking roads and we're up for it yes? We're it's up looking sunny it. now it looks a bit um, overcast earlier but it's, it's meant to old, oh, but yes. comfortable. It's meant to be 26 27 degrees down in Annecy and sunny. Scorchio! Like right we might go and find some fuel first. So we're just on the uh, D671, heading southwards. Uh, we've got about 11 kilometres to go before we get onto the more interesting uh, D roads across the countryside. But look at the weather, it's fantastic this morning. 20 degrees already. Nice to get the summer gloves back on again rather than all our wet weather gear yesterday. So just a bit of an update, there's some lovely open countryside, a few light curves through here. A lot of signs for speed cameras, but we haven't seen that many yet, which may be a good thing, or it might be a bad thing. Liking the new Garmin Zumo XT, my route seems to have uh, imported into it uh, all okay as a, a newbie to the XT, it seems to be working out fine. It was nice yesterday to uh, 
link it up with the uh, my phone in my pocket uh, far up the Garmin Drive and then I can access uh, the road ahead and the weather reports ahead so we, we sort of knew the weather was pretty poor but at least we could see potentially how long we've got to ride until there was a sort of break in it and a bit of sunshine and uh, just monitor that so it doesn't just bring up the weather report in a southerly direction or an easterly direction it brings up the weather report on the route that you're traveling which is very handy you probably can't see this at the moment but i've got it uh, so i've got the right of the screen linked up onto towns coming up ahead of us so it just gives me reassurance we're traveling the right way and the sat nav hasn't gone loopy loo it's a lovely day so good not to be working okay let's go for it please give us the all clear thank you sir towns are all 30 miles an hour and you see those sign even if they're really short brief little towns like this one here clear to go again The D971, although on the map it seems to be numbered differently, but that's the way in France with a lot of these roads. Oh, people usually ask me, um, my speedo, the big display on the Tiger, is still in MPH, and I, I run KPH on the SAT nav, so I've always got that one to compare with for local speed limits, etc. But to be honest, being brought up in MPH days, um, I find it difficult to actually instantly work out roughly what it is. If you just said to me 64 kph or 94 kph, it doesn't really register much with me. Hope that makes sense. Probably not to our European viewers, but there we go. Welcome back. I thought I'd show you a bit of this uh, D971 a bit more of it. Where are we going here? Up this one. Right, let's press on. This is the D971 as previously mentioned. This is the faster open sort of section. A bit of overbanding going on here. Saint La Labay. Forgive me. Well, the cheeky coffee. If there's anything open, I think it's a bit of a um, it's a bank holiday or some sort of uh, remembrance day. So I think some of the there's going to be limited shops open. Oh, this one looks open, but I wonder what it provides. Coffee there, but I think it's a fruit and veg shop. It's 11.45, uh, so we've been on the road for about an hour and a half. We had a bit of a late start. Welcome back. So it's about 21 kilometres to Dijon from here. That's quite a view out towards Dijon from here. Just past the uh, airport on the top of the hill. left at the traffic light, then enter the roundabout. See you in a minute. Next. I don't know, we've stopped for mid-afternoon mid somewhere. Well, you don't want to leave it too late because the French you know, eat early, don't they? Yeah. yeah. But anyway, we'll... I'll find you a bijou garage somewhere to have a sandwich in. <laughs> A, a waterfall. Would you? A water, with a lake. A waterfall and a garage. This is going to be quite a, quite a thing to do. Oh, you got one on the back. 
Can you turn it on remotely? No. All right. I have got one, but it never works. All right. You okay? Yep. Good. Just got to get around Dijon. The Garmin certainly doesn't talk over me half as much as that My Route app nav. This uh, new XT just mentions uh, now and again. In fact, usually only when you get close to a junction rather than reminding you multiple times of what's coming up, which is a good thing. Anyway, Wayne's got one of my GoPros on his bike, so you may have already seen a little bit of uh, footage from his bike. Where are we going here? Left here. Turn right onto D8. So we're south of Dijon now. Still, I think we've got these Cardo comms units uh, sorted out properly. Sometimes they work between Wayne and myself, and sometimes they just don't. It's the D8. Breezy old plan. Just going to turn this back on as we go over this large river here. Trees through here. That Yamaha triple has definitely got some torque. It, it does surprise me. I mean, the suspension is a bit bouncy, bouncy, but um, the engine is fabulous. It looks good as a touring package, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Vims is quite big panniers for uh, size of bike, well for, for any touring bike really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for the video's purposes, yeah we just had a nice little lunch here, it's uh, La, Fortaine, La Fortaine Hotel. Nice, uh, we had salad with jambal, uh, basically a meat salad, very nice indeed it was. And uh, Jane had a vegan salad, which looks even nicer than mine actually. A few chippies, very pleasant, not too heavy on the stomach, just right. Set us up for the next uh, two and a bit hours to the hotel. 148 kilometres to go, we filled up there next to the hotel as well, so we're ready to go. Bit of a oh, that's pretty. Yeah. I can't read off the screen what it says. Uh, it doesn't say on mine. Oh, it must say here, should There we are. Lake de Vaugland? Lake de Vaugland. Oh, it's a the same colour. Yeah. Beautiful. Bit of skiing going on here. Lots of skiing, water skiing going on here. Nice. Slip in there, as they say. That is warm anyway, it's 25 and a half degrees now. I've now discovered, as I say, I'm a bit of a newbie to this Garmin Zumo XT. I've now worked out how I can get up to the usual days that I like to have down the side so I've got elevation at the top here on the uh, right hand side oh. panel. Very nice. So I'm talking to the camera. Uh -huh. so you carry on. 320. You never it's gone. You're never alone with schizophrenia. <laughs> 
So I've now got the elevation showing at the top. I've got the distance to my destination. I've got the direction I'm travelling, southwest, and the arrival time uh, with black on white background at the bottom. I'm not really a control freak. At the roundabout, take the second exit to D31. OK, let's do that. I do like the way this doesn't intervene all the time with directions. Just at the right moment. Who's this up ahead of us? Oh. Not going our way. They're stopping you or stopping us? We weren't speeding, were we? So. No, I think so. He wants us both. Oh dear. Here we go. Bonjour. Oh well, live and learn. Yeah, almost it up with. At least there's no points. Yeah. It's just a bit yeah. of a delay and some money. That just means you're not going to have wine tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll be a bit more careful. <laughs> Apparently they've been chasing us uh, for a little while. Jane had been banging on Wayne's back to, s to say because they've got their lights and horns on. But and uh, I suppose I was lucky. Um, I was leading, but they uh, they were following Wayne, so they've done him rather than both of us. Interesting interlude anyway, goes to break for a few minutes, gave them a little chase. B13 we're on here and uh, we're up to an elevation of 745 metres. Looks like a nice wiggly one going on for some time along here. Five kilometres I believe it goes along here before we join the D55. Unfortunately, being balked here. Come on guys, stick it in second, let's go, come on. On our way down the other side of that uh, hill. Fifty six kilometres to the hotel. The gravel on some of these corners, I'm just uh, trying to watch out for. Ah, we have reached the town at the bottom. The town in question is Saint Germain de Joux. Keep a bit of battery for towards the end. Um, just a brief section of payage that we couldn't avoid. I don't know why I put this on the uh, route. But, uh, so it's about 7k is down to junction 11, Mark Canacy. Well, this is the D1508. We're 19 kilometres from Annecy. Had a little bit of drizzle on us over the last uh, few kilometres. Right, we're one kilometre out, folks, from the hotel. Or well, we're meant to be. Let's see how 
how accurate this is. I've never been to this hotel before. Can you hear me? Yeah, here we are, coming up now. Right hand slip ride. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. I didn't got that, good job I didn't got that first slip rope because that was indicating the hotel as well. Park it up here Dano, we'll, we'll cable them up together. Right, catch up with you in a minute guys. We've arrived. Hotel Mercure uh, in Annecy. Some of the guys, we're just debating whether to go for, oh, I'm debating whether to go for a ride as uh, the weather forecast is uh, unsure. So I'll just show you some of the bikes as we wander around here. Which route are you going on? Uh, day, day three. All oh right, the bow. Yeah. All oh right, okay. I'll have to I might I'll catch up with you lost. later. Stelios on film. Aye. Don't swear. No. <laughs> so the two of you are riding. Gonna, you're gonna you're going to do that uh, that route through the mountains, eh? Yes. I'm, uh, your day three. Yes. I'm going to go with you. I may well do that in a minute. So I was just waiting to see what Wayne and uh, Jane were planning okay. to do okay. before deciding which route to take. Because you've got a shorter one you might do instead. Tomorrow is not going to be a good day. So right. I think tonight, today is going to be dry. It changes so quickly though in the yeah. mountains, doesn't it? I didn't look like it was going to be a good day last night. Yeah. It just said it was going to rain until one o'clock. So hey, True. I think it'd be rude not to get out and do something. Yeah. And here's the leader of uh, Martin organised this uh, trip here and he's off on his own solo ride this morning. Yeah? yeah. You're still planning to do uh, a balcony? Two balcony rides and I still... I, I you don't know what, which one it is? Well, something about death. <laughs> something about Ro death. <laughs> Ro roads of death. <laughs> well, let's hope it's not that one. Yeah, for me. Yeah. Right, well, uh, we'll catch up later. Have a yeah. good ride. As Martin was saying, I think uh, as the weather is uh, so nice at the moment, you never know what's going to happen up in the mountains, you know. But uh, oh, by the way, did you like the uh, t-shirt? Smart, eh? Good accommodation. Food was good. Good bar. Like all of these great trips, I've gone the wrong way from the start. So this is the Bauge and uh, Chartreuse uh, loop around the mountains, if that's how you pronounce those names. So this is uh, about 240 kilometers.
very pleasant here. I didn't see a sign as to what this uh, piece of water of, is called, but I'll put something up on the screen if I can find it. Just leaving a treserve. There is so much traffic today and I'm feeling pretty tired actually now I've actually ridden a few miles so I think I'm going to do a shorter loop and then uh, from here let's just get going and I'll tell you all the way Yeah, so I'm going to do this shorter route, which is 123 kilometres from here anyway. It says I'll get back about 140. I'd like to get back before 3. Give me a chance to have an easier day, relax a bit, maybe even get a quick walk down to the town and see what that's like. Then I think we're going up and over those hills in front of us. Most of us were thinking of going out for a ride uh, uh, in the afternoon and therefore wouldn't have been able to do the entire length of my planned route in the first place. One kilometre, turn right on to Shemend S1. So I've come back to this junction because there wasn't a uh, a road where there was meant to be a road to take me up and over the top. So I'm going to do what appears to be the main road route up here and then round in a big loop to the left. It's getting warm now. 24 and a half degrees. So we're on the D1504 at the moment, running around the far side of that body of water that we passed earlier. Ah, so this way takes you through the Tunnel du Chat, C-H-A-T. Tunnel, 1500 metres. Oh no, we're into it. So a short time after that, um, I've turned off onto the D921C. This is leading me up into the countryside, by the looks of it. Oh, must be an airfield up here or something. Rather nice up here. Thought he was coming out. So Paul Cien. He's turning left onto the D41. down the other side now. D35. Well these are certainly wiggly farm roads around here. It's a bit cooler though. 21 degrees. Just under 500 metres uh, elevation here. Yes, I've got all the stats to hand here now. I 
I've now moved on to the D921. It's a bendy little route, this one. Right, a bit of splosh in the tank. 88 kilometres from here. But I think it looks fairly a wheelie, so let's enjoy this. Route de Lake. This doesn't seem to have a, a road number to it. Well, I'm glad I came out today because the forecast this morning, well, when we looked last night, it looked as though it was going to rain until about one o'clock and then sunny. Uh, when we got up this morning, sat at breakfast, all day sunshine, it says here in Annecy anyway. Obviously, it changes quite dramatically if you get up in the mountains and you never really can tell what's going to happen on route. Um, but um, it's all okay so far. So, if it's going to rain tomorrow, maybe I'll take a walk down the town. But who knows, I mean it could be bright sunshine tomorrow, we'll just have to see how it goes. Right, so we're going to turn onto the D921D. At the roundabout, take the second exit way 43. Nah, don't want to. I don't want a motorway, that's for sure. Nah, don't we go that way. up here. Oh, it's like we're riding around the other side of this lake. This is a different one that we saw earlier. Me again. This might look familiar. I got up to the end there and it was uh, going to send me all the way back again so I've had to uh, recalculate and come back. It wasn't possible to get down and through that way. Damn, looks a good road. I might have to take that main road back a little way. Let's see how we get on. So we're trying this route. I've chosen a, a slightly curvy route back and let it recalculate and it's sending me up the C1 here, 81 kilometres. Col de Lepine. Oh, let's do this one. That's a tight little one. Had to switch this back on because you can just about see how high we are. Oh, I'll find a place to stop down here because we're overlooking the lake. Slow right down, won't be able to show you here. The lake is just over down there, as you may be able to just see on. I don't know if you can see on the GoPro. 800 meters. Oh, I should have stopped there, there's a viewing place. Mm. Not easy to stop there. Oh, perhaps that was the only viewing place. I 
I've reached the top. One car, I've seen two cyclists on the way up. Here, that's the coal. Hooray, we found a coal for the day. Right, so I'm dropping down the other side of this. It must be one of the smallest coals I've ever done, I think, this one. No phone signal up there at all, so don't break down. Some lovely concrete tables and chairs that they've created for uh, stopping and having a sort of uh, a lunch stop up there, if you fancy it. Couldn't see much of a view from up there, though. It's just a sort of woodland view. Very pleasant, though. And cool in here. It's 18 and a half degrees. Whoa, there we go. There's a bit of a view. Down from the Wigglies, down to 400 uh, metres elevation, 63 kilometres back to Annecy from here. Accumulate the heat there, 26 degrees here. So I've just jumped onto the A41 motorway just to get back to Annecy. I didn't want to wiggle around that lake in all the blessed traffic. So uh, this brief payage for 30 kilometres should uh, do the trick. I've had enough of today and I want to be fresh to have a good ride tomorrow if the weather's uh, compliant with us. Anyway show you when we get back to the hotel, just to finish this vid off for the day. Arriving at Mercury Amity Sud, on the right. Right, call that a day shall we? See you tomorrow. Good morning from Yaramoto. We've just left the uh, hotel in Annecy and uh, we're going for a ride. Let's see what, how it turns out because the weather forecast is meant to uh, come in about lunchtime so I've adapted a route um, down to about four hours uh, so that we can take in a particular coal. I'll put the name up on the screen really because I can't remember the length of the name on it. And uh, I've got Wayne and Jane behind me on their Yamaha Tracer GT and then I've got uh, Nigel and Janet on a BMW K1300S at the rear. Let's get the weather forecast up if I can. Ah, oh, there we go, radar. 16 degrees, 18 degrees, 17 degrees by midday but I've got a cloud with a bit of sunshine and potential rain, so who knows. So we've got five kilometres on here, it says, and then we take uh, the Junction 18 off. Don't know why, but anyway. Oh, we go on to the A410. Right, anyway, so we're heading down to this coal, and uh, we'll catch up with you in a little while. So 
So we just come off the motorway network. Uh, we left at half nine. It's now half eleven. So it's long thrash on the sort of motorway network just to get south. And uh, we've just seen the first signs for the coal that we were aiming for. I don't think we're on the particular coal that we're after at the moment. I think this leads up to it. But I thought I'd better film with some of this. I'm not sure it's still. I haven't seen a signpost saying it's the start of it yet. I think we're just getting up the valley before it. There's a tight right-hander coming up, Stelvio tight. Okay. These are going to get progressively tighter, I think, up here. A bit shiny, this new tarmac, isn't it? <laughs> it is. First gear. This is why that's new. You wait till you get to this bit. <laughs> it's not new. <laughs> oh my god. Should we come back when they've resurfaced it? Yeah. Thought oh, edit that one out. Oh, took that one badly. Editor's discretion, that one. I'll slow down a moment. Must be hard with a pillion on the back as well. Yeah. There we are. Oh, that's another collet. Oh, it's must be the village name. 27 kilometres to go with the tight left hand coming up. Sure is. When I get brake for these, I want to put up the trip data so I can see what um, meterage we're at here. As long as you do one out of ten, that's, that's I, got that bend, I got that bend right. Uh, the other ones have been a bit scruffy bit, but that was lovely. <laughs> always look up ahead. Yeah, try to. The shit that's coming down. My head doesn't bend that far round. I'm not an owl. It's a bit more flat. Oh, the better road, better tarmac up here. coming down. Nice. It's just started raining so I thought I'd put, a, put this on just to capture this a little bit in case it's the last that's worth filming. I think we're still trying to get to the actual coal that we had uh, planned. Yeah. So is straight onto the coal. Is it? Alright, oh, okay. Got a sharp uh, right here. Nothing coming. It's a shame it's raining. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. 
not great for filming, but um, I've left the cameras on. That's quite a view down there. One coming up. Sharp left. First gear. Nothing coming. Take whatever line you like. Sharp right. Nothing coming. Well, this is fun, guys. Still not the top yet. Oh, concentrate. Yeah. Right hand tight. No cars. I'm going to put my wet weather gear on. Watch this overbanding on the way down. Well, viewers, that wasn't great, was it? Oh. We didn't get away with the weather. It was looking quite hopeful, but... Uh, as predicted, it started raining at uh, one o'clock. So if it's one o'clock now, it's going to be an hour and a half back, by my reckoning. And we have Nigel and Janet in front of us. Are you on the move again? Yeah, I'm right behind uh, Nigel. Right. I know I'm slow, but... They are loud, those acropo acropovics on those BMWs. Hey. What's the town? D110 we're on. Uh, Paul, can you hear me? I'm right behind Nigel. Okay, right. Good up, Bill. Couldn't see whether that place was open. Didn't look I'm, it, I'm, did it? No, I'm pretty sure there'd be something at the top. You'd think so. Well, just stop when you see something. Yeah. Can I come past? I said, can I come past, please? Yeah. Col de Mollard. Oh, whatever it is, we're going to go up it. Fifteen hundred meters.
Welcome back. Uh, we just uh, had a little stop at a, oh, it's just a really small roadside uh, pizzeria place for a coffee and a pee break. And uh, we're now on our way back towards Annecy. And thankfully, it stopped raining. In fact, it's warmed up quite a bit. It's 21 and a half degrees now. So I've taken my yellow crisp packet off and uh, we shall make our way back. 14.40 at the moment and we'll be back at 16.00, hopefully. So catch up with you a bit further down the line. There's nothing much to see here. It's just going to be a really motorway stuff on the way back. So. Well done, Mrs. Morris. I, yeah, I, I think the uh, the pain wasn't worth the gain on that one. <laughs> Is that a fair way to put it? 